Well, the rods are now out, and with me today are a load of items from Witchwood. This is some of the tactical HD range. Now, if they sent me absolutely everything, I think I'd take up half this bank with loads of various items. But I've got a few items with me today, and I'm going to focus on three in particular, just otherwise, again, we'll be here all day. But they have got stuff in this range for everything, from little lead pouches all the way up to carryalls and rucksacks and things and rod bags. We'll start off with the rod bag I've got with me today. This is the 12 foot compact three rod holder or carryall. And as you can see, first things first is it folds up nice and small. So a lot of this stuff is designed to be as lightweight as possible while still being durable and uh, hard wearing because all the materials and all these items is a hard wearing, super durable 1200D material. And as I said, this is the three rod hole I've got with me today for 12 foot rods. So on the outside, we'll start with the outside. There's two large pockets, one of which is much longer than the other one. This is perfect for your lander nets or long slings, things like that. That's what I had my lander net in today. And then on the other side, it's a slightly smaller one, perfect for bank sticks and things or sling, anything slightly smaller. But both of those have adjustable clips on the outside to keep them nice and secure. And lastly, we got a pocket just there, which is for what well, lead pouch or you can put like a receiver in there or something. Today, I just had a little spom in there because I'm going to be doing a bit today. And just to show you that does sort of bulk out and it will fit a midi sized spom in there if you want to put that in there. Moving on to the inside. It's a two up, one down type of configuration, although I have no I, uh, there's no reason why you shouldn't or wouldn't be able to have three rods in the same orientation. But the reason for having one down and two up is you can have it much more slimline. So rather than all of your reels being bunched up in one position, like sort of one in the middle and then two either side, bunched around and making it really bulky, you can put one the other end so that you've only got two reels next to each other and one reel by itself. All of which are separated by these padded dividers and you've got three Velcro retaining straps on each rod. So they really are secured in place once they're in there. Not like the overly snug, I have to sort of push the butt section of the rods in and get the tips in, but it's not so tight that you're gonna be bending your tip sections or whatever. So there's absolutely no issues with size-wise of that. And like I said, the, the three tension or Velcro straps are really handy for keeping the rods nice and secure in there. They're not gonna be sliding around and knocking about. And the dividers mean that there's no way you're gonna damage the rods. And because you've got a reel up here and two reels down there or other way around, or if you want, if you've got smaller reels, you can put them all in the same orientation. There's no way that your reels are gonna get bashed around and damage themselves. So that's pretty much this hold all in a nutshell. They do also have a quiver, much more of a stripped back quiver. Then we move on to some of the slightly smaller items I've got with me today. Another one on here, this is a tackle pouch or tackle organizer but again all of these items here you can kind of use for your own purposes if you wanted to so this one today just to show you what I can fit in here opening this up you've got a little clear pouch here for anything I've just got a couple of spare rigs in there I know that's not holding them very well but that's what I've got in there today and uh, but fitting inside perfectly for four pop-up tubs and there's a little divider in there you can take out if you wanted but it does fit that amount in there so uh, it's nice to know that it fits that amount if I zip that up either side, you've got these little pouches as well, perfect for maybe um, bait needles, boily stops, things like that, or leads in one side as well. So you've got the option both sides to uh, put some little bits and bobs in there. So all of these little things can obviously go into their bigger carriers. I don't have any carriers or rucksacks with me today, but all of this stuff will fit into a bigger carrier. You know exactly where each item is. So that's the one of the little tackle organizers. Now another one that I'm really quite uh, like the look of is this one. Now this is a bait caddy. Oh, that's a bite. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh. well, we're back and that's probably one of the most savage line bites I think I've ever received. But uh, Rod is back out and hopefully the next bite will actually be a bite. So as I was saying, bait caddy this one. And uh, some nice little unique features on this I think are quite cool. Obviously got straps, easy to carry. You've got two straps on the rear so you can attach that to other items in the range with elasticated uh, not last yeah elasticated little sort of straps there or loops so you can attach different things on there it's also got elasticated loop on the side here to put a catapult in there nice and easy nothing revolutionary there and also on the inside as you see simple open up and i've got some boilies in there so uh, already stained the side because that's one thing i will notice is it's not like a wipe clean material it's a bit more of a um, I'm not sure what you'd call it. It is lined on the inside, but it's probably not going to be the easiest to clean off if you're putting oily boilies in, which I kind of did yesterday. So as you can see, it's left some uh, greasy oily marks on there. That's not a problem. If you're using this as a bait caddy, it's going to get grubby. But that's not the uh, one of the cool features on there. So you can hold probably a couple of kilos in there already. If you open up this zip on the bottom, 
all the way around and undo the zip like so come on buddy there we are it then extends and becomes a bit of an air joy bag so you can have this as something to enjoy your freezer baits, which I think is quite cool, and it pretty much doubles the capacity of this bag, and uh, just very, very handy. I've not seen that on many things before. I'm not sure if that's already on the market. It may be, you'll probably comment below saying that's already about somewhere, but I've not seen that before. I think that's quite a cool little feature to double the capacity of this bag and make it a nice little air dry bag for your boilies. And again, simple enough to do back up. Just tuck the mesh back in, put the zip in. And where's that zip back round? And we're back to normal. So there you are, that's one of the bait caddies. It's quite a handy little feature, that, I think. Moving on, you've then got another tackle pouch. Now this one is a bit more of uh, what you'd expect to see with a tackle pouch, unlike the other one which I put down over here, which is one of the tackle items that you can put different things. I've got my pop-up pots in there today, but this one is a bit more what you'd expect to see with a tackle organiser. So I've got loads of mesh pockets. You've got nine there. At the moment, I've just got hooks and uh, different rig bits in there. You've also got these pockets, which aren't mesh-based, but perfect to put more stuff like that in on this side. Flip over that divider, and you've got some bigger compartments here, which at the moment I've got some uh, hook link materials, little rig bits, my baiting needles, hook and things, PVA items, so it's long enough to fit your tubes in and stuff like that. So quite a handy little organiser. And uh, because it's not a rigid one, you can probably bunch this into a smaller compartment in a bag or something much easier than you would if you had a really rigid box. So that's the three main items I really wanted to touch upon today. As I said, I've got a few more items at home, whether it's a uh, gas canister cover or your spare reel, a spare spool case and things like that. There was something for everyone in there. Another little touch upon this one, little lead pouch. You've got a clear bag to put certain leads in. You've got some more leads in there and a mesh one. So all these little dividers within boxes and, and not boxes, sorry, in little pouches like that, just to keep things nice and organized. You always know where, whatever item you need, which bag it's going to be in and which pouch it's going to be in, which is nice and easy. Again, just another general purpose bag. I'm going to forget all the names of these, but if you have a look on their website, there are stacks of different things to suit your needs. If you just need a little bag for certain items, so you always know where it is in a bag, then have a look at their range. But again, just a little carry-all here with a strap that can go around my waist. You've got some of those as well, like the uh, like bum bag type things to keep the essentials with you. And in here, I've just got my scales. So that's the sort of size you're looking at with this one. So uh, that's quite a handy little one. And also one other thing you probably spotted this morning was bite alarm covers. Now those are the small ones I've got with me today and they do fit an R4. An R4 is much bigger than the R3s. So I wouldn't say they're a particularly small alarm, they're fairly chunky, but the small ones do fit. So if you roughly know the size of an R4, the small pouches will cover those. Slightly bigger than that, I'd probably go for the larger size and smaller, obviously, you stick with the small pouch. So that's a little sort of whip through a load of the items in the Tactical HD range. There are loads, if you have a look online, there's vast loads of different uh, pouches and bags and things for all different needs. But those are the ones I've got with me today that got me fishing. And uh, hopefully some of these tickle your fancy. And if they did, then do have a look on their website for more information on these items and also other items in the range. But that is it for me for now. Hopefully I'm gonna catch something today. It is only 20 past seven in the morning and I've already got this video done. So uh, hopefully I can uh, relax a bit and get some fish on the bank for the rest of the day as well. Wish me luck, but uh, I'll see you in the next one. Getting back and hopefully more to come.